Car cleaning season is back in full swing, and one question I get asked all the time is, which is the best snow foam cannon? But to answer that question, it's going to be based on several factors, such as the quality of snow foam you're using, whether you've got the correct dilutions, and the pressure washer, of course, and that's just to name a few. And picking a clear winner is always going to be a difficult task. However, I've been testing so many different foam cannons out there over the last many, many years, and I've now come to the conclusion that I have found one in particular that's so good, it's so smart, and it raises the bar so high, everything else just seems a little bit average. This is the new premium foam cannon from Arva. It's a one of a kind, well, actually three of a kind foam cannon that has solved many problems that the everyday car detailer may face. So let's take a look at what makes this so unique. The first thing I wanted to draw your attention to were these three bottles. Now you may be thinking, hang on a minute, three bottles, that's a bit excessive, isn't it? Well, detailing is constantly evolving. And I think since the last 16 years that I've been in this business, I've never seen such a rapid rate of new products hit the market. So Arva wanted to get ahead of the game. Now you may have noticed a sharp rise in all these sealants hitting the market where you apply them through a foam cannon. Now it just eliminates the need to wash out one cannon if you've got foam in it, and then you wanna put your sealant in after. And that's one reason why I never bothered using spray sealants, because I didn't really wanna wash out my foam cannon halfway through a clean because it just takes so much time. It's just another inconvenience to my life. So I have to say, fair play Arva. So you have one for your foam, one for your sealant, and this one could be either used for your shampoo or in some cases, even a wheel cleaner. And this brings me on to another point with these bottles because I've used so many in the past that have been weak, fragile, or they cracked or leaked, and they've just been no good. So what I wanna do in this video today is fill it up with water, get up a ladder, and attempt to break it. I have no idea what's gonna happen, so make sure you stick around till the very end. Anyway, back to the bottles themselves, and these can hold up to one liter of product. And the good thing about this is it's clearly labeled to help you get the right dilutions and calculate the PIR if you want to get technical. And by doing this, it simplifies everything for the end user. It makes life easier without having to calculate the ratios. And speaking of calculating things, for those of you, let's just say who pick up a snow foam bottle and it says pour in something like 25 mils. Well, that's not a large amount, but Arva have thought about how they can make that easier for you. So they've given you these three steps inside the bottle, meaning you can now measure smaller amounts of products without the need of having a measuring jug. And even if you didn't have a measuring jug in the first place for other things like citrus or shampoo, then you could just use one of these. So the innovation never stops. And I feel the beginners will really appreciate this. So I was really impressed by the amount of thought and effort that went into the whole package here. And it doesn't stop there because they've got two lids. Now you can stack these on top of each other. So if you do have limited space on your shelving, you can utilize the height. And then they take it one step further because it also means that if you are a mobile valitor and you wanna have everything pre-filled before you go to work, it just means that you can be rest assured that you can fill it up with chemicals and you're not going to be making one big fat mess if it topples over. And then this is where it gets even better because with the lids, you can put them underneath your foam cannon, which now gives you an extra bit of support. Now, these aren't really that top heavy anyway, but what it's done is it's eliminated any further risk if you were to be having your foam cannon on a slant or a tilted driveway or just an uneven surface. So it just goes to show you that they've literally thought about every single minor detail. Moving on to the nozzle, and they've come up with another simple and yet effective design. You basically have an adjustment dial here, but it's numbered, which means that you can remember your favorite settings. For me, when I'm using my foam, I like it on setting six to nine because it gives me a good balance. You have to have a play around with it to find out what works for you. But just bear in mind that if you keep it on setting number nine, you're going to be getting through a lot more products a lot quicker. So I've mainly been using this premium model for the last five months now. And the more I use it, the more I love it because I appreciate the fact they're putting the needs of the mobile car cleaner first. And another problem that I often find with other bottles is the tiny thread at the top because I see it all the time where you go to fill up the bottle and the foam just spews out the top. So that means you have to rinse it out over and over again. Not only does it waste time, but it also wastes water as well. So I'm glad they gave us this huge opening so the excess foam has nowhere to hide. 
and you're not gonna believe this because it doesn't stop there. They've taken it yet another step further with this. If you're somebody who likes to be using colored snow foam, personally, it's not for me, but I understand why people do it for social media and you don't want to stain any of your new precious bottles, well, you could simply put them in another chemical bottle like this and it attaches because it's got another thread. So it also gives you another dimension if you wanted to run something like a citrus pre-wash through your foam cannon. It just doesn't stop amazing me. Like the whole brand have thought about everything you can possibly imagine from a foam cannon. Now the thing about the fittings on these Arvas are they're exactly identical to what you're going to find on a Karcher K series. So you could still use one of these foam cannons on your Karcher. And another thing I wanna talk about is the quick release. Everybody says you've got to get a quick release. Come on, how quick is that? Seriously, we're talking milliseconds here. There's nothing wrong with these triggers. The lances are decent, the hoses are decent, and the machines are certainly epic. However, if you really insist on getting a different quick connect to work with your current kit, then you can opt for this neat little accessory that gives you the option to upgrade. And they also make it easy to service with their very own first aid kit. So I think we can all agree this is a pretty good cannon. So now I wanna do something which I really don't wanna do because I don't like heights, but I'm gonna do it for the channel anyway because I'm brave. I'm gonna get up a ladder and I'm gonna try and break this. I'm gonna give it one, maybe two attempts. I don't know how this is gonna go. Honestly, I'm scared of heights. Oh, let's just get on with it, let's just do it. So for this experiment, I've chosen a clear bottle which is the exact one that I've been using for the last five months as the test subject. So this has already had a fair few knocks and drops and I previously filled it up with some blue quick detailer just so you can see for yourself if anything leaks out. Right, so here we go. This is it. I've already dug myself a hole in case I fall. So I'm gonna drop this from, I don't know heights. I'm gonna say it's the equivalent of Andre the Giant. I'm not even gonna get that. I don't wanna get higher, this is dangerous. Right. Let's do a drop test, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, okay. Any cracks, any leaks? No, so far so good. Right, I'm gonna do one more. We're gonna go proper Michael Jordan height now. Flipping neck, ready? Three, two, one, let's chuck it a bit. Wow, look at that. Nothing, no cracks. There you go, you can see for yourself on camera. That is a pass. So I think that went fairly well. I survived and the foam cannon survived. I'm sure that's gonna disappoint some of you in the comments section. Although you may think this test was pointless, you cannot deny its durability. And when you look at the fact this cannon can produce high quality stable foam, it has three sturdy beakers, the stackable lids can become a base, a quality nozzle, an adjustable fan, a measuring chart on the side, a wide mouth, and the inner thread can hold smaller bottles, the list just goes on. So when I said towards the beginning of the video that I have found one of the best out there, this isn't me coming up with a wild theory, this is a proven fact. And when you compare the price to other cannons out there, it's pretty much the same, so you're going to get one heck of a good deal, and I will put links in the description below. So I think this is gonna make a great addition for any car cleaner, but if you think that the three bottles is just gonna be a bit excessive and you don't need that, you can go for something like the Easy P40 or the Easy P57, where you will get a premium foam cannon, but you'll just get it in a smaller jug, but you still get the same nozzle. So you can have alternative options. And that's what I like about Arva. They literally do not compromise on anything. It's a cross between budget and brilliance. And if you want to know more about how to snow foam a car properly, or you still want to see this smaller cannon in action, then these two videos are definitely worth a watch.